Last year we got the 6th generation of Pokemon, and with that came a new mechanic called Mega Evolutions. A lot of these Mega Evolutions are really creative. They change typing, abilities, and design. My favorite aspect of these Mega Evolutions were how the Pokemon changed design whenever they entered these temporary states. There were some very good designs and a few mediocre ones, but we never got a lot of bad ones. Originally this list was going to be my top 10 favorite designs, but that's not original enough. No, now I'm listing the top 10 worst ideas for Mega Evolutions. I will be basing this off the last evolution of Pokemon's evolutionary chain, and I will only be judging whether it would be good or not based on that Pokemon's design and what I think they could do with it. My judgment will be centered around the changes they went through in their evolutions, and I can't judge a Pokemon based on their stats because it could be very different in their Mega Evolution, so my decision is only influenced by design. So here are the ugliest Mega Evolutions I could think of. When Mega Evolutions were shown off, I was very pleased with the large variety that we received, but I was really disappointed that we never saw one come from Crobat. I was always partial to Crobat, and I would like to see him get some more attention, but I am very happy that Crobat's completely shameless copy, Swoobat, didn't get any attention. Swoobat is one of the worst Pokemon in the 5th generation. It looks like a Crobat, but horribly malformed. I mean, where in evolution was it a smart idea to give this thing a heart for a nose? That just looks agonizing. This thing's design is just dumb. It's not two ears, but they're conjoined, so it's like one and a half ears. The mega evolution for this Pokemon wouldn't be much prettier. It would probably just get fuzzier and uglier, if that's even possible. Ever since the release of Generation 1, people have fantasized about what Diglett and Dugtrio would look like when they weren't in the ground. It made Dugtrio the center of a lot of speculation and fan art. This being said, Dugtrio's mega evolution would probably be really dumb, cause Dugtrio is only three Diglets, so what could they really do with it? I mean, unless Dugtrio just sprouted legs and turned into a Machoke or something, it would probably just be really underwhelming. All they really would be able to do is multiply Doug Trio again, and then what do we get? Doug Sex Tuplets? As much as I hate to admit it, Snorlax is quite popular, despite how dumb he is. So you can assume how happy I was when he didn't receive a Mega Evolution in Generation 6. It's probably good for all of us because, I mean, what could they add to Snorlax? What happened in the evolution from Munchlax to Snorlax? It just got bigger! So what would they add to Snorlax's mega evolution? A six pack of donuts? I don't fucking know. Pokemon normally get cooler as they evolve. Their first form is normally cute and innocent, then they evolve once and get a little cooler, and then in their third evolution they turn super badass and intimidating. Well that sure wasn't the case for Seismitoad. He just turned out weird and creepy. His first evolution was cute, then a little weird, and then Game Freak ran out of ideas and said fuck it, cover him in balls. So I guess his mega evolution would result in Seismitoad turning into a giant ball. Well guess what Nintendo, we already have a Pokemon like that, and we all know how much I like that one! Cat Pokemon have always been a struggle for me. Sometimes they can be like Stitty and be a little cool. They could be like Perugly and be really, well, ugly. Perugly is probably the worst idea for a cat Pokemon that has ever been conceived. It's just a cat and nothing more. Its mega evolution would just be a bigger cat I g Okay, you know what? Who am I kidding? All of the cat Pokemon are dumb and their mega evolutions would be two. I mean, what would they turn into? An ocelot? Revolver ocelot! Okay, I'm about to get personal here. I don't like Breloom at all. It's not because of its design or its type or anything like that. No. When I was little, I had a copy of Pokemon Emerald that I loved, and I played it all the time. 
Well, I was a pretty dumb kid, so I didn't see the importance of grinding for levels. I just tried to get through the game as fast as I could, which meant avoiding trainers, running from wild Pokemon, and just neglecting my Pokemon in general. I only realized that this was a bad idea when I came across a trainer who had one Pokemon, a Breloom. Now let me tell you, this Breloom was in the top percentile of all Breloom, and it wanted me to know that. I send out my best friend and starter Pokemon, Marstomp, Giga Drain. Bam! Dead. I send out my Graveler, Mock Punch. Bam! Dead. I send out my Ponita, Fire Type. I'm sure that'll kill it. Headbutt. Random critical hit. Bam! Dead. This single Breloom ended my team before I could even touch it. I've hated it ever since. That's why it's a bad idea to give this Pokemon a Mega Evolution. Not because it would be ugly, not because it's underrated or overrated, but because I don't want this mushroom-headed, raptor-clawed piece of trash Pokemon to get any bit of the limelight that it does not at all deserve. Gen 6 was all about throwing typings in a blender and turning it on high, because god we got some crazy shit. I mean, dragons now cower in fear from fairies, bug types became a little more relevant maybe, and we got a water rock type. Binacle started out kinda cool, he has the nice typing and well his design is okay. I mean it's just a rock with arms, it's not real special, but whatever, it hasn't even evolved yet. Well it's evolution is something pretty fucking scary, cause oh god I don't know what happened to it. Barbaracle looks like Majora's second form from the final boss of Majora's Mask with barbershop poles for arms. Its entire body consists of hands and eyes on hands. The left side of its body, it's got two hands. The right side of its body, it's got two hands. Its head? Well, take a guess. It went from being a rock with two hands into being a fever dream conceived by Willy Wonka. So I guess its mega evolution would just be like a gobstop or one of those fucking candy cane sticks that aren't actually candy canes. One of my biggest complaints about the first generation was the design of the Pokemon. People always herald it as the most creative generation to date. Well then, what the hell is Muck? I'll tell you what it is, it's shit! It's pre-evolution Grimer? Yep, that's shit too! What happens when Grimer evolves? It turns into a bigger pile of shit! I wonder what Muck's evolution might be. I don't know, maybe an even bigger pile of shit. At least Garbodor has fingers, guys! <laughs> Probopass is dumb. Nose Pass was kinda okay in 3rd gen, I mean I didn't like him, but hey, it was something new. Probopass, however, I just don't know what happened there. I mean, they took the concept of a nose, and they thought up the idea that they should put more noses on it. Oh yeah, and magnetic nose hair, that too? So what would Probabass's Mega Evolution be like? Well, it would probably gain more hair and I don't know, a nose for every letter in the fucking alphabet? While we're at it, we should just throw a goatee on Nose Pass. Why not a mohawk? Wait a minute. Probopass's Mega would be Mr. T! Screw everything I just said, that would be awesome. So anyone who thinks Magikarp is dumb, raise your hands. Oh no, please keep them up, please. Now with those hands, please promptly use them to drive a truck and back it over said Magikarp, and that is the story of how we got Stunfisk. Stunfisk, well, it's a fish. And I don't really know if Nintendo thought they were being clever by changing the last letter in fish to a K. You're not fooling anyone! But it's a fish. The stun part? I don't know, it probably comes from the fact that you'll be stunned by how ugly it is. I don't really even have words for this entry. Would we even care to see this Pokemon's Mega Evolution? Probably just get flatter, fucking uglier. Also, the hell is this? Hold on a sec. Let me do some editing.
Why is there an exclamation mark on this thing's back? Nah, you know what? I'm done. I quit!